Hi everyone, I'm finally gonna do my Q&A video now and I know it's been like over a year since I've asked for questions. Thank you so much for waiting. I guess I'll just start with the video. Oh, sweet fruit just tried to say hi to my flower. <laughs> I'll just be training in this video while I answer the questions. The first set of questions is by Lillian Faith Russell. I know from your comments that you've been looking forward to this video, so I thought I'd just answer your questions first. What is your favorite place to go in Star Stable? Um, I think it might have been South Hoof in the past. I used to go there with my starter horse and I would just do a trill right there. I love the music there, so... Oh, I missed a checkpoint. But nowadays when I come on Star Stable, I don't really... Oh my gosh. I did not know they added barrels there. I don't really go on trail rides anymore, so I just... I guess I don't really have a favorite place in Star Stable now. Maybe it's still South Hoof because I love how open it is over there. It kind of makes me feel relaxed. What's your favorite breed of horse and pony for racing? Um, the Morgan. I love to race with my Morgan. I have a horse named Silverwish and she's the first horse that I bought in Star Stable. She's also the first horse that I rode the most when I started racing in Star Stable. So I guess it's like a mix of nostalgia and I'm just kind of used to riding the Morgans in races. As for the pony, I don't think I have a favorite breed of pony to race with. I mostly go with my Shinkoti pony or my Gotlin pony. Which holiday update do you like more, Halloween or Christmas? I used to like Christmas a lot more than Halloween because I was scared of the Halloween stuff and I couldn't really log on when it was Halloween. But that was a long time ago. Now I'm not as afraid of the Halloween stuff and I can do most of the quests. Except for the haunted trail ride. I don't like the jump scares. Now that I can do the Halloween quests, I think I like both updates almost equally. In fact, last year, I did not really enjoy the Christmas update because I don't think it was really fun to get the Christmas snowflakes. I think it was the winter magic. And the quest with the Yeti was really scary too, so I'll have to choose Halloween for last year. Why did you choose your name in Star Stable? I chose Violet Snowflower and it's kind of a mix between I liked how it sounded and I liked how it looked. I don't remember if I chose the first name or the last name first, but I like snow and flowers. That's where Snowflower came from. I guess I just really liked how Violet Snowflower sounded and I know this sounds kind of strange, but I really liked how the name looked. So yeah, that's why I chose my name in Star Stable. What is your dream update in Star Stable? I feel like my dream updates have all happened in Star Stable, so I don't think I have a dream update right now. I used to really want a new area and championship that kind of got fulfilled when Wild Woods came out. That was a new area and as for a new championship, the Baroness's championship came out and now we have Veildale, so I don't know, I don't really have a dream update. I'm just trying to think if there's anything that I would like to have in Star Stable. I guess it'll be cool if we get more colors of the tunic. I remember that I made this video of like a bunch of colors for the tunics and I still love them, so I think it'll be cool if we could get like recolors of not just the tunics actually, we could get recolors of different tack. Oh that's right, this flower that Sweet Fruit has, there's no matching tail flowers for it, so I kind of went with this ribbon. I guess I would like it if Star Stable added a tail flower that matched this one. The next questions that I have is from Chicken Nuggles. How long have you been playing Star Stable? I started playing Star Stable in November of 2017. That's like six to seven years. I feel like time kind of flies. I can't believe it's been six to seven years. How many horses do you have in Star Stable? I've got to count that. Do I ride horses in real life or have I ridden horses? I don't ride actively in real life. I've been on recreational trail rides in Australia. It's the kind where you go in a group and you kind of just follow the instructor. It was fun. What kind of music do you like? 
I can't really tell the genre of a song by just listening to it. I feel like I don't really know what the genres mean, so I'm not sure what kind of music I like, but I guess I love to sing, so I suppose if I find a song fun to sing, then then I'll like it. But I don't know a lot of English songs actually. That's because I don't really sing songs in English. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm flying. So I don't really sing songs in English because I mostly sing Japanese songs and the English songs that I know are mostly from Disney because I've watched some of the movies with my sister. You know the songs that I did for my voice review and the one with Summer in Happy Airlines? Both of those songs are from Disney and I actually struggle with pronouncing the words right because I'm just not used to singing in English. But it's really fun to just try out something new. I guess that's not really an answer so maybe I'll just play a song that I've been listening to a lot. This song was shared to me by Elise. It's from a game called Near Automata. I've just been listening to it a lot recently because I just love how it sounds. The language that's sung in this song is actually a made-up language that's used in the game. Elise has known this game for years and Elise has been trying to recommend me to play this. Oh, how do I even? <laughs> Alright, um, that was, that was interesting. Elise has been trying to get me to play this game for years but I just, I kept refusing because I thought it was kind of scary. There's like a lot of fighting in it and that's not really something that I like. Elise has been trying to show me a lot of songs from this game to try to convince me to play it. <laughs> and it's not really... Oh, actually it's kind of working. I'm not as afraid of stuff like that anymore so maybe I could actually play it and record it for this channel. I think Elise would love that. <laughs> Okay, now I'm kind of getting off topic. I thought I'd try to change the color of my flower. Um, now it's like reddish orange. I don't know what color this is, but I love it. The next question is, do you like drawing and what do you like to draw? I think I'm kind of neutral to drawing. I used to doodle a lot in class and not pay attention, so... <laughs> Most of the stuff I draw on this channel are from Microsoft Paint. So I guess that's the program that I'm most familiar with for drawing. This flower here, I drew it on Ibis Paint. I think that's a better program than Microsoft Paint, so maybe I'll try to use that more if I draw stuff for this channel. What made you start your YouTube channel and what's your inspiration? I have a friend that I met on Star Stable and she used to post on her channel. The name of her channel is Dreams of Winter. She was my inspiration for starting a YouTube channel. Wait, why am I doing this race again? I got inspired to start my channel to try to film things that I do on Star Stable. Do you play any instruments? I can play the piano but I have not touched one in years so I think I'm probably quite rusty with it. But I think I can still play a few pieces because muscle memory and I think I just kind of remember how it goes. Oh, I missed the bunny. Do you like to stay organized or do you like to go with the flow? This question reminds me of one of those personality test questions. I guess it really depends. If it's something that I love to do or something that I'm really motivated to complete, then I'll probably be really organized with it. I have like a to-do list that I keep in my phone, but I don't really set hard deadlines for them. I feel like that kind of stresses me out too much. As long as I get it done within reasonable time, then I'm happy with it. What is your favorite food? Since we're on the potato race, I guess I love potatoes. But my favorite food is actually crab. Steamed crab. I know it's kind of uncommon, I guess. And it's really expensive, so I don't really get to eat it often. The last time I had one was on my birthday last year, and I think I'll continue doing that, just buying a crab for my birthday. What's your favorite color? I remember this question in a previous Q&A video. That time I said my answer is white and then I was told that white is not a color, it's a shade. The reason why I like white is because it can kind of split into different colors so I thought it was just really cool. But now that I think about it, if I like white, does that mean that I don't have a favorite color and I kind of just like things that are colorful. I like pastel colors, so 
something like this outfit. Actually, most of the colors I have on this flower are pastel. Oh, I just got a great idea. Um, I'm gonna do this. Do you see it now? I'm a rainbow flower. <laughs> do you have any pets in real life? I have hamsters. I've been keeping hamsters for many years and now I have one named Kiwi. She's really cute. The next question is by Clemens Mistherth. Who's your favorite Star Stable YouTuber? I don't really watch Star Stable videos anymore because I used to watch my friends and clubmates videos but they've kind of stopped posting since a couple of years ago so I haven't really been watching Star Stable videos. I guess if it's recommended to me on YouTube then sometimes I'll watch it. A few months ago, I saw this video by a YouTuber called Amelia Dreambell and I kind of forgot the title. It was about the Christmas update, I think, and different players had different opinions on it. I thought that was really interesting to kind of just hear all the different opinions in the community. I think I watched that video in January, so I kind of forgot the details of it, but I remember that I enjoyed it because I got to see all the different opinions. There was another video from Amelia that I watched and once again I forgot the title but I remember the content of this one. It was about male players in the Star Stable community and I watched that because I thought it was quite relevant to me. Well, specifically it was relevant to Elise. Um, not many people know this but Elise is actually a boy. I guess people didn't know this because I've been calling Elise a she in most of my videos, in fact all of my videos. When we first started playing Star Stable, Elise didn't want other players to know that he was a boy because I guess that was the fear of discrimination so we kind of kept it a secret for many years and it wasn't in my place to tell so I've just been calling Elise a she. But now Elise doesn't mind anymore so that's why I'm being open about it on this channel. Speaking of boy players on Star Stable, there's this one YouTuber, um, I, I forgot his name. Uh, I watched one of his videos last year and I remember it was about the Hollowoods magic and I think he had some ideas for Star Stable and he shared them in a video. I thought it was really cool but I kind of forgot the content. And I think there was a second video where Star Stable got back to him. I thought that was really cool too, that Star Stable would reply their players. I'm trying to remember his name. Um, I think it was like Dan... Danny? I don't think that's a name option. Daniela? Rice Storm? No, that, that doesn't sound right. And there are CC creations. I mostly watch her videos on new horses coming to the game because I just like to see what a new horse looks like so that I know which one to buy. The next question is by Milo Jer. I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. Can you do more videos of Brad the hamster? He's so cute. <laughs> Brad was actually my female Syrian hamster. Unfortunately, I can't do more videos with Brad the hamster because she has passed away almost two years ago. Hamsters have really short lifespans. It's usually between 1.5 years to 2 years. Maybe I'll post a video of my hamsters again. I'm not sure when that'll be, but maybe. What made you start racing in Star Stable? And how do you do so well with level 1 horses? Elise and I kind of got into championships by chance. It was in 2018 and we were just doing a quest with Mrs. Holdsworth. Then we saw a lot of players at the Moreland Championship and we signed up for the championship. And then we ran off before the time even started. So yeah, we kind of failed our first championship. Then we kind of just signed up for more and that's how we got into championships. As for the level 1 championships, I feel like a big part of it is just my luck. Usually I do better in the new Hillcrest championship because a lot of players goof up in the swamps so as long as I don't goof up there then I have a chance to place. Where are you from? Just the country? Because I still can't place your accent. If not then, which two of your horses will you breed? It's a secret. <laughs> I just prefer not to have my personal information on the internet. How do you pronounce internet? Internet. I feel like it might be a silent T, so... Internet? 
Then that just sounds like internet. I guess my accent is different because of where I mostly hear English from. Earlier in this video, I said that I watch Disney movies with my sister. I actually learned some movies from the English and... Wait, I learned some English from the movies, oh my gosh. As well as from the people who speak English around me. So I guess my accent is like a mix of both. I guess if I had to choose two of my horses to breed, I would choose my stutter horse, Cinnamon, and my Morgan Silverwish because those are the first two horses that I had on Star Stable. I'm not sure if these two breeds can be bred together. One of them is a Yorvik Warmblood and that's a fictional breed. Can a Warmblood breed with a Morgan? The last two questions that I'll answer is from Rose Short Look. Can you do an all championships in one day video? I thought about this before but I don't think it's possible because we have championships like every half an hour so i'm not gonna stay awake for the whole night just to do all championships that's like 48 championships in a day so i don't think i have the stamina for that and the video is gonna be like over an hour long oh my gosh Thank you for the suggestion though. Can you do a Star Stable Championship shortcut video? I can. I'll try to make a video like that, but I'm not sure when I'll post it. I feel like it might take a while because it's kind of hard to do all the shortcuts successfully. So I'll need some time to make this video. So I realized I probably pressed the wrong key earlier when I tried to activate the rainbow flower. So it didn't work. I'm sorry about that. Anyways, this is the end of this video. Thank you so much for your questions and I know I did not answer all of them, but I still hope that you enjoyed this video. And if I ever do a Q&A video again, I hope that I don't take over a year to start filming it. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!